So I just want to start off by saying I want to make this video as quick and concise as possible for you guys. So this video applies to you if you're experiencing any lagging or crashing when trying to capture game footage of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory with a streaming application. So luckily for us, the fix for this is actually super easy to implement. So what we need to do is go to this website here. I'm going to leave a link for that in the description down below. And as you can see, there's actually quite a few fixes for a number of the installments, including the original Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, and both versions of Double Agent. So if you guys need those, these general steps will also apply and help you there as well. But what we're going to do is go to Chaos Theory and click the yellow download button. A new tab should open up and we're just going to go to the bottom of the page and click on the zip folder right here. That's going to open up a prompt and all you need to do is hit save and hit OK. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again here and just save the file wherever you'd like. I've saved mine here. You guys are just going to have the zip folder, so just make sure that you extract it. And once you do, just click in on the folder, click on system and then just copy all of these files straight into the game directory and if you don't know where that is the quickest way to find it is if you open up steam go to splinter cell chaos theory go to properties and go to the local files tab and just hit browse local files and then you'll find the system folder right here and as you can see the splinter cell 3 executable files right here so we know we're in the right place so all we need to do is paste all of those files we had just copied from before so what this has allowed us to do so far is have the game in a widescreen ratio, which is nice because you don't want those crop sides when you're streaming. But what's most important is that we force this game into windowed mode. And luckily this fix actually includes a way to do that. So all we need to do is click on D3, D9 configuration settings, and it's just going to bring up one simple line of text. Yours is going to say zero right here and zero is false, which means off if you know anything about programming. So all we need to do is type in one, which means true, and that'll turn it on. So once you do that, you're just going to hit file, save, and now it's in forced windowed mode. So quick pro tip, I would actually recommend you go back to the general tab in here, go to set launch options, type in dash no intro all one word and all lowercase. What that's going to do is skip that annoying intro sequence at the beginning of Chaos Theory, especially if you're going to be opening and closing this game to test if this has worked. It's going to save you a lot of time. So you're going to notice right away when I open up my game, it's going to skip that intro sequence, which is really nice. It's just going to go straight into the main menu. Uh, so what we're going to do to test this is just open up a new game. It doesn't matter what difficulty. The reason this happens is actually because these cutscenes are actually at a different resolution than the in-game resolution, which is kind of strange. But again, this game is a little bit old, so it wasn't made with streaming in mind, right? So we're just going to hit accept and you can see that it's working perfectly fine. I'm recording everything on OBS, so it ensures that this is working with the streaming application open. And um, if you guys are curious about why I have red lights, I can actually show you how to change those as well, because that was also included in this patch as a fun little extra. So let me show you how to do that right now. It's super quick and super simple to do. So going back into the game directory where we had copied and pasted the files from before, there was a folder that was named scripts included along with that. So if we click in there, copy all of these files, go back out into the system folder and paste them in here. Um, you'll see that it includes a file named Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Widescreen Fix Configuration Settings. So we're going to click in on that. Mine is going to look a little bit different from yours, and that's just because I've organized mine a bit better. I can show you what yours is going to look like side by side. You're going to have this long string of text. I organized it just because I find it easier to read, and you can do the same thing too if you just hit enter a bunch of times. Right, everything's organized. So you'll notice the difference between mine and yours is that your goggle light color value is the default zero and mine is the one that corresponds with Voron Red. So all you would need to do to change your goggle light color is find one that you like and just copy and paste the corresponding string of numbers into the goggle light color line. So let's say that we wanted to go with Violet. We would just copy this string of numbers and paste it right over this and hit file and save and now our in-game lights should be a violet color. All right, so let's see if our in-game lights have actually turned purple. Just a side note, this doesn't work with whatever custom profile you have. You actually have to go to the default profile and you can just find that really quickly under profile management and by clicking on default, that's the only way that it works. 
and also you can't change light colors on the fly i've tried you actually have to make sure that the game is fully closed before doing so again which is not that big of a deal all right and as you can see the in-game light color is now a violet color which is pretty cool and whenever you need to change the lights back to the default green color all you're going to need to do is just set this value back to zero again in the goggles light color line i hope this helped you guys out i hope you learned something today the next thing on the list of things that i want to do is to get a team of spies versus mercenaries together so we can play multiplayer again and possibly even stream it i think that would be a lot of fun I don't know how to do that yet, but if you guys are interested in something like that, please let me know. I would be more than happy to go on the internet and figure out how that works. But until then, that's it for me. So happy sneaking. And there's a med kit. I couldn't even see it because of the... <laughs> I have my night vision on, but <sighs> my prayers were answered. I just got so scared. That wall mine, I swear, if I didn't get the med kit and I didn't just save, I would have been so mad. Oh my god, I'm so glad I stopped to check around the corner. I like... I could... <laughs> I was so scared. 100% thought I was gonna... Anyone see that? <laughs> that random piece of paper that flew through the building. Doesn't have to end like this. But yeah, I thought Nobody I was going around the corner and just get annihilated by that wall mine.